Wilbo buses are now up and running on Treasure Island. The shuttle service is the first of its kind in California to operate entirely on public roads and is called Loop. It's fully autonomous and electric and comes amid a big debate over self-driving cars in San Francisco. The free shuttle is guided by eight sensors instead of human drivers and is fully electric. The two AV shuttles will operate daily and take passengers to seven stops from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, the Loop is going to be a seven day a week service with an autonomous shuttle. Uh, it will operate from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily with 20 minute service. Um, it is a, a free, fully accessible uh, electric shuttle and it will have an attendant on board at all times. Although the all electric vehicle does not have a driver's seat or steering wheel, it will include an attendant who are capable of driving the bus with a handheld controller. So the role of the attendant is to there, be there to monitor and take over if needed. For example, if there's an unusual event that takes place and they have to maneuver around a construction um, vehicle, which uh, we experienced today. San Francisco is among a growing number of cities that are testing the safety and potential of self-driving vehicles in a bid to transform public transportation. The shuttles are operated by BEEP, a company based in Orlando, Florida, that has run similar pilot programs in more than a dozen U.S. communities, aside from providing services for the Miami Zoo, Mayo Clinic, and the Yellowstone National Park. I didn't feel unsafe. Um, I felt that it made some abrupt stops, um, but otherwise I felt like I was riding any other bus for the most part. The Autonomous Shuttle Pilot Project was launched after the California Public Utilities Commission voted to allow two rival robo-taxi companies, Goose and Waymo, to offer round-the-clock passenger service in San Francisco. The project was approved despite widespread complaints that the driverless taxis make unexpected stops, cause traffic backups, and block emergency vehicles. These factors have caused the municipal government to ask the commission to pause the robo-taxi expansion on Wednesday.